In the United States, an expectant mother eagerly awaits the arrival of her bundle of joy. But for the black community, this joy is sometimes overshadowed by profound heartache. Alarming disparities in black infant and maternal health contribute to higher morbidity and mortality rates. Our next guest knows this pain firsthand and is on a mission to change this narrative. Let's welcome Jamie Madeline Wilson, and we also, who is a doula and lactation counselor and founder of Holistic Innovations, along with Aaliyah Durham, a wife and mother who's here to share her personal experience as well. Ladies, thank you for joining us today. Yes, thank you for having us. Of course, I, Jamie, I wanted to start off with you to have you tell us about your journey and the work that you do. Um, so I've been a doula for going on six years now. I started out as a birth doula and um, this all just stemmed from my own personal experience with pregnancy and the postpartum phase. Um, mm -hmm. Just, you know, as a first time mother, I wasn't prepared for everything that comes with that transformation. For those unfamiliar, what is a doula and how does this profession play a key role in supporting mothers during childbirth? So a doula is a professional like birth companion. Um, we're there to help educate support and advocate for new parents, um, just helping to preserve the culture, um, help remind new parents of their power, um, and just protect, you know, a space that is sacred for yeah. new parents. I think that's so important to have. I mean, for new parents, they're going through a lot. Like you mentioned, there's a lot of things that are unknown. So being able to have somebody that can assist with that is always helpful. And Aaliyah, I understand you've experienced, unfortunately, the loss of your daughter, which I'm so sorry to hear. But can you okay. share a little bit about her and your experience about that? Um, absolutely. Uh, so Berkeley um, was my baby girl. She. Um, I went full term. She passed away two days before my due date. Um, but being pregnant with her, I could tell she was full of life. She loved animals. So anytime like an animal would come by me, she would like jump and kick. Um, I would go around chickens or dogs and she loved it. <laughs> and then um, usually when I felt her get a little tense, um, I would be in water all the time. She was definitely a water baby. So those are two things that um, I keep memory of and that I remember about her personality just being in my womb. Yeah, I yeah. feel like that's so important to remember. And I mean, Aaliyah, drawing from your experiences, how can we address those challenges in our healthcare system affecting mothers and babies? What changes do you envision for a more supportive healthcare experience? I think for a more support supportive healthcare experience, through my journey, I think being heard is so important and understood. And, you know, I know that there is a system and I know that, you know, everybody is trained to um, do things accordingly and to have the best interests at heart. Um, but I think when a mother is vocalizing maybe that they're not being heard or they don't feel safe, I don't think it should be difficult to transition to maybe to another healthcare provider because mm -hmm. I experienced that. Mm -hmm. Jamie, what do you think could help moving forward? Could doulas maybe be a helpful resource to women at this time in their lives? Um, as doulas, we're there to um, just remind mothers and fathers of, you know, what they wanted before they entered into the birth room mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, making sure that what's going on is working for them and that's yeah. what they really wanted and, you know, that they're being heard and they're being respected, I mm -hmm. think is really important. You know, there's a lot of issues with um, concerns of like implicit biasness and, yeah. um, you know, just different issues surrounding that um, in healthcare. So I'm a doula and a lactation counselor and I believe like what makes my services unique is I provide overnight postpartum support. Mm -hmm. So I'm in parents' um, homes um, as soon as they come home from the hospital, I'm there, you know, preparing meals, making sure that they're nourished, making sure they have that time to rest and recover. I'm providing in-home, in-the-moment, newborn care support, uh, making sure that breastfeeding is going smoothly or whatever the feeding options is, even if it's bottle feeding. I'm there to help, you know, provide mm -hmm. product um, suggestions and, you know, I catch things, you know, pretty early on because yeah. of just being familiar with um, newborn care and um, the postpartum recovery process. So 
I think that just helps um, new families to feel more comfortable in their roles, knowing mm -hmm. that they have someone there. Thank you ladies both so much for joining us today. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. thank you. Of course, I'm gonna let our viewers know where they can go for more information. You can find out more by going to holisticinnovationsllc.com.